Welcome back to the shop, friends. I recently made a batch of blackberry wine, and since I don't have an oak barrel to put it in, today we're going to grill some oak. I had a piece of one inch oak laying in my cabinet that I wasn't doing anything with, so I decided to use it to make the oak infuser. I was looking online to see what it would cost to buy one, and these things sell for up to $20 if you bought one that was this long. So I uh, marked it off at one foot and went ahead and cut it with my handsaw. I do like to take my chisel and just notch the corners before I cut it and that makes it easier to cut a straight line. Once I had the piece of oak cut to length, I proceeded to round off the corners some. I used uh, both my Stanley number no. 4 and also my block plane to do that. The leather veneer vice jaws held the piece in the vise really nice and securely. Next, I marked off in one inch increments in order to create some grooves to increase the surface area of the piece of oak. I just marked it using my quarter inch chisel in which I will later use to chisel out the grooves. I use my crosscut saw to cut each line that I created leaving the quarter inch space in between the saw mark. After that I went ahead and sawed around the entire circumference of the oak blank. And then I used my quarter inch chisel to chisel out the waste. Each groove was about two tenths of an inch deep. Once that was finished, I took some sandpaper and cleaned it up a little bit, making sure to get the lead pencil marks off. I wadded up some sandpaper and cleaned out the grooves as well. I then proceeded to firing up the egg and putting the oak blanks on there. I accidentally burnt the wood when I first started and it broke in half. I found what worked best was to heat it up to about 500 degrees and then just flip the oak blanks frequently. That created a really nice char. Well, here's the final results, guys. So all we have left to do is to take out the cork and put it in the wine barrel. I am gonna spray it down a little bit with some star sand, which is a sanitizing solution.
Well, that's it for today, friends. I'll keep you up to date as to how the oak works in the wine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.